morning, everybody. First off, I'd like to say I'm sorry, Renee. Our vlog got way too long yesterday, so we had to cut the asparagus, but that'll go into today's vlog, so you'll get to see that. And I woke up with a really bad headache again, and it's turning into a migraine, so I just had something to eat, and I'm going to take one of my migraine pills and lay down with some ice on my head and see if I can get it to go away. If I do, I'm going to get up and do some more decorating. Um, but my migraine meds kind of make me sleep, so maybe I'll end up taking a nap and then I'll feel better. So we'll see. But right now I'm just going to kind of jump back into bed here, turn on some face-off that I recorded last night, and... Uh, probably take a nap. So before I get into bed I wanted to tell you guys we did have a little bit of a cat fight again last night and it was downstairs but I didn't know that so I ran upstairs but the only cat that was up there was Mama so I sat and petted her for a little while and then Ebony came upstairs and I put Ebony in the bathroom with Megan because she was taking a shower so I did that, and then um, Mojo came in on the bed with us, and Boomer had came in on the bed with us. And then Mojo and Boomer. Hi, Boomer. Where are you going? Say hi. Say hi, Boomer. And then Mojo went after Boomer. So we're starting to think that Mojo is the instigator in the fights. So we have to really keep an eye on that, and I don't know how to stop that. If Mojo's um, starting the fights between everybody, what do we do about that? Will it stop eventually? Hello, guys. So I am actually going to do something that I said I was going to do a while back for Renee Carey, and that is to cook some fresh asparagus. I am going to cook it up now and I cook it a special way so I wanted to show her a different way to cook fresh asparagus. First off you take it out of the bag completely and what I do is I gotta move this back because Kevin who is not OCD, but is about certain things, insists that I have to have me and the food in the shop at the same time. So, here we are. So, I got my asparagus out of the bag, and all I'm going to do is chop off the ends I always chop off a good portion of the ends of so, them. After you rinse them off, you get a Ziploc bag and you put them all in the Ziploc bag. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Okay, and again, I always use extra virgin olive oil with everything I cook and you pour a generous amount in there. Okay. I'm going to leave this out because I'm going to use that for dinner as well. And then you can put any type of seasoning in here that you want. I'm gonna, I, I always like to use the lemon pepper because um, we all like that. So I'm going to sprinkle a good amount of that in there as well. And then I'm going to Pull some of the air out, zip lock it, and mix it all up. So it covers the oil and the lemon pepper covers all of the asparagus. So you're just going to use a regular baking pan or cookie sheet, whatever. You're going to dump that all out. You're going to spread them out so they're not on top of each other. So they're all laying flat. 
And then I am going to put the oven on bake, 350. And I'm going to pop them in the oven and I'm just going to let them cook for a little while while I'm preparing um, dinner for tonight. And then we will keep checking them and see how long it is. We'll, we'll time them. It's 2 o'clock now and I'm putting them in the oven. So we'll time it and see how long it takes, Renee, for those to cook up just perfect. And they're really nice this way. They're not soft and, and mushy, but they're not crunchy and hard. Okay, so there's the asparagus. Let me bring it over to you guys. See how yummy that looks? Now I just gotta wait for it to cool off a little bit because I don't want to burn my mouth while I'm eating it. So I'm gonna get a plate down and put it on a plate so I can still have my working area free. And the asparagus is cooled down so I am going to have myself some asparagus. Mm. Very good. Hi guys, so we're having dead bird. Dead bird? But I didn't make it. Kevin bought it. Because I've been in bed all day with a migraine. So. And of course you have an audience. Of course. Well, Boomer's not an audience. Boomer just sits here and tries to climb into your lap every time you eat. Uh -huh. And I am teaching him not to, but you have got to stick to it and you don't. And then Freckles is definitely an audience. He just waits for any food to be dropped. Yeah. Hello, baby. Hey, sweetums. You got your baby with you. Yeah. He was a good boy. He waited till you were done eating. Yeah. Or climbing all over me. Where you going? I know. Hey everybody! Guess what time it is? Uh, time for shout out. Excuse me? No? It's not time for shout outs? It is, but can you say it with a little more excitement? Time for shout out. That's better! Yeah, Kevin's getting it. <coughs> Justina C. tried the garlic trick. That came from Meet the Presleys. And if any of you aren't following Meet the Presleys, you guys should go follow them because they are very good chefs and they come up with a lot of good recipes on their channel. So, and what? What? And Lucy Owl Blue Bones. I don't cook every night, so I can't move in with you and cook you dinner every night. But Kevin, he's a gourmet cook. He makes top ramen. He makes the best top ramen around. Pierre Herrera, congratulations on being first. The Abyss. 92882. Very weird question, but we think if your grandmother sees you sleeping in a casket, she might get a little freaked out, so we think you should sleep on a bed of nails instead. <laughs> you asked! So, we're just answering. That's right. And my dad is watching my vlogs finally! Thank you, Pop. And leaving comments. Yay! Okay. So that makes me happy. Happy you. Yeah, my dad lives in New York and, and you know, I'm happy that he's watching because then it kind of makes me feel like he's part of my life every day. So we can yell at you every day. 
Just stop doing that! I'm 40 something, well, sorry, I'm 20 something years old! <laughs> She missed the first time. Time for our neighbor. <laughs> time for neighborhood, community, credit scroll. There you go. I thought you said credit roll. I have something like that. Time. <laughs> I can't do it when I'm laughing. Good. Stop. Uh, 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 been said. No, it's got to be it said right. Been, it has been said <laughs> correct. It has to be said by me. Oh. Time for. <laughs> no. No. Time for our neighborhood community. <laughs> just got to shake her up a little and it's fine. <laughs> Megan's doing, not mine. I swear. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, you can tell. So, All right, do your can, thing. Can we do a happy anniversary kiss? Oh, sure. Mm. Mm. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. What's what's nine? Is that the cardboard ma wedding marriage? It's not the silver anniversary. It's the, it's oh. the cardboard. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Better not get me something cardboard unless it's on Halloween. I got plenty of cardboard in there. You've got cardboard Daryl, so. You didn't get me that. Kimmy got me that. Oh, well, there you go. You better get me something Halloweenish. I'll get you a cardboard zombie. Okay. That'll be happy with. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for you all. Thank you. We love you. Thumbs up. And we will see you all tomorrow. Bye.